What's going on everybody? I'm Dustin with Georgia Shore Drainage Solutions and today we're going to be fixing another flooded yard by writing out six downspouts and their sump pumps. So let's get started. Well, the first thing you do is always make sure you call for your mark out. Have to have the mark out in before you dig. It's always safe to cover yourself and make sure you don't break anything. Now I'm gonna be taking the downspout from the front left, going behind the tree, all the way down the side, having this downspout tie into it here Come all the way down to the corner. This is gonna go all the way out to the back of their fence where there's a creek back there. So that way it'll pop up, facilitate out and go straight down to the creek. I'm gonna be tying in this downspout and their sump pump line right in there, all the way over here to the fence. It's all gonna tie in and all go out together. And then we're gonna do the right side. Over here on the right side of the house, I'm gonna be running the downspout they have here all the way out to their property line where it'll facilitate over and go out to the street. I guess that's what they all do on both sides of the house. Same thing with this downspout here. Gonna run that downspout all the way to the fence and a downspout over there in the corner behind the pool and everything all the way to the fence. Gonna rake back the rock, dig it all out, put it all back like I was never here. So let's get started. Here's a perfect example of how not to run your downspout out. Someone tried to DIY it. Well, you know, at least they use PVC. I'll give them points for that. But whenever they ran it out, they just ran it straight into the ground. So I found it over here on the back end because I'm going to go around and reroute a system to tie all this in. And here's the end of it, just into the ground. No pop up, no nothing. So that way it's just been building up for years and years and years. And it's nothing but roots and everything into it. While PVC is better than the corrugated stuff, if you do not install it well and you do not maintain it, it will end up messing up just like everything else. So do it right the first time and maintain your systems yearly. And here we go, now we have it all dug out. As you can see, here's the front right downspout. It's just gonna go over here to the corner on the edge. Back here we have the other downspout. Same thing, it's gonna go over here to the corner. And same with this one over here to the corner. And then we have The left side of the house. We're just gonna do the same thing. We have everything in the front, everything is coming back this way. It's all coming back, going back. It's all gonna end over here at the end of the fence. Now to pipe it up and show you how everything goes. Alright, and now we have the right side done. Everything piped up. As you can see, we are way downhill to level. Not that it really matters too much when you're only dealing with uh, 20 feet or less. It's all gonna go to the end where you want it to go. And as you can see, all of them, they've all been burrito wrapped. They all have holes drilled in them and they have rock in there. They're all mini dry wells. So that way when there's no more head pressure to pop up, all the water We'll be able to drain into the ground. Same thing with over here. As you can see, we got this one. It is completely downhill as well. Same thing, burrito wrapped at the end. And here we have this one. Same thing, downhill to level. Everything at the end is burrito wrapped. Now to do the left side. All right, now I have the whole left side piped up. We'll start over here at the furthest point. Got the front downspout. We got everything going downhill to level this way. And then snake behind all the trees and everything. We got it all downhill to level here. As you can see, everything teed in. Got the directional tees. And then from the corner, Going towards the back, we are slightly downhill to level, and we got a long way to go. Over here at the next section, right before it ties in to go under, we are level. Right beforehand, got another one. Well, we are downhill to level as well, and now I gotta go around the gate. 
All right, now the back left of the house on the other side of the gate. We got the sump pump tied in. And we got the sump pump line also down to the level so that way there's no more pressure coming out of it. It can gravity feed to continue to keep going to help prevent against freezing. As you can see, we are downhill to the level here. And then everything intersects. Downhill to the level here. And keep going all the way down. We are downhill to the level here. And all the way until the end. And the water's all gonna come out here, build up, and then go over the fence to the wooded creek area behind it. So now to backfill and show you how everything works. And now everything is backfilled completely. Now it's time to test and show how the system works. Put the water in the front, and now let's go around back. And here we are in the back. As you can see, the holes are down there. As it's trying to build up to overflow, it's also draining in the ground. So right now it has to drain everything into the ground before it can build up enough to come out. So it's the waiting game. And here we go. The water builds up, comes out the pop-up. It'll build up, keep going, and it'll eventually go over here to this creek. I'm using this really small hose right here so it's not popping up as high as it normally would with just the hose, but you see all the water coming out immensely. But when it's raining, this will be going up real high because we have three downspouts and a sump pump tied into it. Another job well done by Jersey Shore Drainage Solutions. As always, like, share, comment, subscribe, and until the next one.